Honorable Minister, Mr. Uh, Ram Rao, uh, Mr. Satya Narayana, uh, Mr. Raymond Peter, uh, Andrew, and all the distinguished participants and guests. Uh, I have great pleasure in uh, sort of seeing this workshop happening. Uh, you can see that APS and Telangana both have aspired to be leaders in uh, open data access for a long time. I think uh, when e-governance started in the country, uh, the erstwhile AP state was the leader in terms of a lot of work which happened in the country. And a lot of data which uh, was put in the public domain, even in Indrega and lots of other rural development programs was of a very high order in case of this state. Uh, and uh, we believe that, however, just having access to open data is not enough. Unless open data gets converted into outcomes, service delivery outcomes, access to market outcomes, human development outcomes, just having data is just the first part of the story. And I think that part is not that problematic as far as AP and Telangana is concerned. You can go to AP government's website, Telangana government's website, the SERP's website, all, and you can see tons of data there at this stage, you know, habitation-wise data, household-like data, access data, all the data is there, and there's plenty of data there. So, we are right now in the process of developing a new program of rural inclusive growth in both AP and Telangana with uh, both the governments. And uh, this uses the existing investment in institutions of poor, which is the self-help groups, the federations, to then achieve higher level of outcomes of human development and economic development there. And we believe that we have not fully utilized the data and its utilization for achieving outcomes in an effective kind of way. Input and output data is very much there, but how does input and output gets converted into outcomes is still a very big issue. And which means that we can't do this alone in the government or in the bank. We need to interact with a large number of stakeholders, whether it is the research establishment. And, and, and Hyderabad is the epicenter for a lot of institutions of excellence. Whether you take National Institute of Nutrition, you take NI Manage, you take NIRD, you take uh, ISB, you take uh, TIS has opened a branch. So you have institutions galore in Hyderabad. But if the institutions are not converting data into solutions, day-to-day -day solutions and adapting them, then just having a, uh, institutions is not enough. These institutions should be actively involved in converting lot of this information and data which is connecting collected into into solutions so i think applications is a very important thing and when we are going into governance we are not going into static models we are looking at mobile based models increasingly we are looking at service delivery points at various locations so unless and until we create content and transformational content and also can create uh, transformational service delivery models which have to do with M governance and E governance out of the data, then it is not getting going to get converted into outcomes. So we are very excited that uh, we are at a very critical stage, both in the two states as well as in the country, where we are looking at transformational models of where we are not obsessed just with data for the sake of data, but we are looking at data to be converted into effective uh, outcomes and governance. And I think this is the challenge we face. And I think we feel that if we can do it anywhere, we can do it here. Because there is a whole startup ecosystem, there is an enterprise ecosystem, all large players are here. But they are producing results more for certain kind of applications, which are some kinds of corporate and industrial, but not enough applications for rural development. The ability to convert rural development and agriculture data into applications has to exponentially increase for creating new kinds of solutions.
so we are very lucky to have uh, and, and and i think what i find that uh, in telangana mr rao rao is handling both portfolios i think it's very unique <laughs> i haven't seen any other state where we are working where rd and it is handled by the same minister so i am very we are really look looking forward to this synergy and really produce a very outlier outcome there and you have luckily you have raymond also here so who has been a very big champion of it and he is in rd also so i think if you have that configuration i think we need to come to something then we have like thought leaders like mr satyanarayana you know in ap and who is sort of involved in national institute of smart governance and all so i think we have a lot of enabling things in the ecosystem in place in these places but it is our ability to convert data into solutions which is going to distinguish us we can be here after another 2 years and so many megabytes and gigabytes of data would have come but if it is not converted into 100 best solutions then this is of no use so i would we today we will like to dwell into that how we can develop a continuous investment in enabling ecosystem